How's it going everybody? Motomedic, back again. In the last few videos, I've had this thing sitting up here on this uh, rack behind me. And I'm sure that those with a keen eye and a keen sense of what's going on in this old motorcycle world of things, you kind of know what this bike is behind me. What it is, is a 1986 Yamaha FZ600. And it was one of the forerunners of early sport bike design. So basically this bike came to me from a phone call from a gentleman that needed to get it fixed up. The guy that I'm doing the work from is the son of the original owner. That original owner on his, I think it was maybe his second, probably his second wedding, asked his son to get on the, on the bike, take a ride with him. They jumped on, he's on the back seat. Dad came into the cul-de-sac a little bit hot. I'm about to crash this thing. Chuck the kid off the bike onto the grass. <laughs> and crash the bike. The bike's been sitting ever since, so I'm not really sure exactly how long that is, but the, but the license plate says 1997 on the tag. The bike got put away, and it eventually made its way to me. Basically, the goal for this bike is to get it running and get it back to safe and, uh, and good condition to ride. I wanted to do something a little bit special for this guy and his father to you know, make it really nice and clean it up real well and get it running really well. And that was the goal. That still is the goal. About a week after I got the bike, I put a parts list together and I, and I emailed my, my client. It was a little bit of time before I heard from him. And finally, I texted him just to check and make sure he'd gotten my email. Later that day, he responded and let me know that his father was in the hospital with a heart attack. This was on a Friday. By Sunday, I still hadn't heard from him, so I gave him, a, I gave him another call or I shot him another text. And later on that evening, I found out that his father had passed away on Saturday. Upon hearing that, I really wanted to make this bike kind of special as far as getting the cleanup done. Originally, it was just going to be get it running. But because I, I, I love my dad and where he brought me up on motorcycles, I want to make this special for this guy. So I'm doing a little bit more on the cleanup uh, than I expected I'm going to do. Uh, and so let's take a look at the bike, walk around and see what we find, huh? In the early and mid 80s, MotoGP, or what was back then Grand Prix racing, was huge in the United States. Mostly because of guys like Kenny Roberts, Yamaha was a huge name in MotoGP. Yamaha kind of wanted to bring to market some sort of uh, replica of a, of, a, of a MotoGP bike. So they designed the FZ600. 600cc inline four, dual overhead cam, and air cool. Back in the early 80s, they really didn't have the swing arm technology that we have today. So they basically took this design off of their, their off-road and their dirt bikes at the time, their motocross uh, division. Almost the exact same swing arm as on a YZ250. One of those original cool little aspects of this bike was this uh, belt-driven adjustment for your shock preload. They put this out here so that you could get into this with a socket and you could adjust the preload on the shock which is back in here you didn't have to get in here with some kind of weird spanner wrench made it easier on the racetrack to get adjustments done the bike also had um, an, an air adjustable preload for the uh, for the front forks so they could adjust the stiffness of the front forks again really quick and really easy with just these these air chucks and you could pop a couple of PSI or half a PSI in there and really change the handling of the bike at the time. Now this is the original tank off the bike and uh, it is it is pretty rusted inside um, so there was the option of maybe trying to get it cleaned up or something but because of it being so bad we're really not being the, really not going to be able to use it. Um, unless we were to do some major cleanup. However, lucky for us, we have that. That's right, that is a brand spanking new out of that box fuel tank for an FZ600. At this point, I have gone ahead and rebuilt the top end, new base and uh, head gaskets, and getting ready to time it and I gotta clean it up a little bit and uh, get the top end back together 
I've got the carburetors cleaned up and they're ready to go back on. Oh yeah, got a new oil pan gasket, got a new valve cover gasket. Uh, we've got to clean up the valve covers and uh, pretty much ready to start getting this thing ready to go and get it running. So what does this all come down to? This all comes down to a really cool project that I get to do for a really cool guy who apparently had a really cool dad. And I'm really, I'm really just excited to get this thing back on the road and worthy of being back on the road and uh, getting a little nostalgia in there and letting this guy share a piece of that history and those moments that he, that he had with his father. It's really, just, it's really just a cool bike to be able to work on for this family, really. Um, here it is kind of with the tank on there and uh, all that stuff. So I'm going to put another one of these videos on this particular bike together, maybe one or two more videos on this bike one in process and then a, maybe a final video when we're riding it down the road and he's taking off on the thing and, uh, and uh, maybe a, an unveil and all of that stuff for him. And um, stick around, come back, hit the subscribe button right here and uh, leave a comment and let me know how, what you think. What do you think of this bike?